What's going on everybody? This is Living in Arizona Now and today we're going to talk about things to know for the newbies as per the locals. So we polled our locals on our communities, Facebook and Instagram. If you haven't already followed us, do so now. But we're going to talk about the things that newbies to Arizona should know. Let's get into it. All right, guys, the first thing they want to tell you is when you come out here, stay hydrated. This came up quite a few times in both of our community discussions. They're saying, hey, it's dry. It gets bone dry in the desert. You're going to want to drink lots of liquid and even get those electrolyte packs that you put inside of your water. So anytime you can uh, stay hydrated with a juice or watermelon or cantaloupe, especially during the summer months, you're going to want to do it. Your skin's going to get dry. Uh, so do be prepared for moisturizing yourself uh, with whatever's available. And another really popular thing that came up on this list is be prepared to drive. Arizona's really spread out. We've talked about this several times on multiple different videos. There's lots of freeway systems all across Phoenix. Even when you go to Tucson, there's I-10. In order to get up to Prescott, you gotta get on I-17 and you gotta get off on another route. There's the 89A through the uh, Oak Creek Canyon, so many different highway systems. So Arizona really, for the most part, people are driving. So do be ready to drive. And the drivers in Phoenix in particular, it can get like Mad Max out there, I'm telling you. Now this one came in strong from the locals, as in the people who were born in Arizona. They say, wherever state you're coming from, leave that state and those customs, come to Arizona, embrace Arizona. They really want you guys to understand what Arizona stands for, and they don't want you guys to come from your state, move here, and try and change Arizona. This comes up probably more than anything I've ever seen across the board. Even if you check the comments in the comment section right now, you'll see them saying, hey, wherever you're coming from, if you're coming from California, remember why you left and why you came here. And they really want to get this message out to people. All right, let's talk weather. They found it to be important that I tell you guys this. We get four seasons in Arizona in multiple different areas. Prescott, Flagstaff, Sedona, uh, the White Mountains, even down south. Uh, but yes, we do have dry conditions. But with that being said, be aware when you're going hiking that it can be really hot and people have actually passed away from hiking out in the desert. So take the necessary precautions. Also realize we have critters out here like reptiles, rattlesnakes, gila monsters, uh, those things you have to be aware of. So some people like to take precautions, whether it be with the footwear, the shoes, or with long pants. So keep that stuff in mind. Let's elaborate a little bit more on that weather situation. That means that when you get in your car in the summertime when it's 114 in Phoenix or 110 in Tucson or even 100 degrees in Sedona because yeah, it does get that hot in the summertime up there. Uh, inside your car, things can melt. That means your chapstick, your visine, if you have visine, eye drops, that stuff's gonna be really hot if you're trying to put it in if it's just been sitting in your car. So keep that in mind, but also your steering wheel gets hot, your dashboard, your seat. So having things that can protect your seats and your leather, uh, as well as your kids and your dogs. Because when you go out, say to the post office, if you get stuck in there in a long line for 30 minutes and you leave your puppy inside your car with even the windows cracked and it's 114 degrees, you might come out to a puppy that's no longer alive. Same thing with kids. I mean, you think it's common sense, but unfortunately people, they do space it. And then the worst case scenario happens where uh, the dog or the child pass away because it's so hot. So keep these things in mind. The months I would say you need to pay attention to from about uh, early May until late September. Now this is something that's come up at the sports games and in other chats is when you come to Arizona and you go to a Cardinals game or a Suns game, do bear in mind whose stadium you're in. You'd be surprised how many locals don't really like that. I mean, if you do that in Los Angeles, for example, at a Dodgers game and you pull for the other team or the Raiders hometown, and you pull for the other team, typically it's not a good thing. But people, they moved to Arizona, they like to show off and flex wherever they came from, their sports team. And I know it happens because, I mean, if I was in another stadium, I might pull for the Cardinals too. I get it. But that stuff kind of irritates people. So they would encourage you to jump on the bandwagon, especially when the team's doing good. Like if the Suns, we went to the NBA Finals, the Cardinals are 2-0. and They encourage you to support the home team, especially if you've now moved here jump on the bandwagon, become a part of the community, the home team. All right, let's talk the great outdoors. Now, when you go camping, should go without saying, obviously clean up after yourself, but also be aware we get dry summers, droughts, and then it's fire season. You'll see it's high danger 
or a high fire danger, don't take that lightly. When people go out there and they don't put out their campfires properly all the way, uh, we get these big uh, forest fires that burn down most of most of our areas. I mean, this is why they closed some of the forests uh, this year and last. We found out why the uh, park is closed from what we understood is it was because of fire danger. And people weren't putting out their fires properly and then everyone had to uh, suffer because of that because we had all these big massive fires. I don't need to name them because you guys probably already remember them if you're, you've are you been here for a while. Those fires, those dan that danger is real. Uh, but like I said, uh, cleaning up after yourself, making sure you respect the area where you go out in nature, don't treat it uh, incorrectly. I mean, this should go without saying, uh, respect the environment, but there's people out there who, you know, do all sorts of different things. They'll throw their trash uh, right there in the middle of a empty lot or something like this. And people, that pisses off a lot of people actually. Now this goes in line with the statement about knowing you're new to the state of Arizona, so don't try and change it. Remember where you left and why you left, the gun laws. So open carry state, concealed carry state. That means that people out here are packing heat. You know, and if you talk to the guys in the comments, they'll, they'll let you know they got a gun on them pretty much at all times. They call it an everyday carry. I personally, I don't carry a gun everywhere I go. Some people say, hey, why don't you have a gun everywhere you go? You live in Arizona. What kind of Arizonan are you? Well, I just don't carry a gun with me. I have a gun, but I don't carry it with me all the time. Point is, is that when you're out there doing road rage situations and you're about to get crazy with someone in road rage, do keep in mind, they got a gun. And if they feel threatened, uh, you'll see it on the news sometimes. They've used their weapons. So uh, they want you to know that this is one of those kind of states. So think twice before you taunt or threaten or attack people out here. So here's something they want you to know. The grass isn't always greener on the other side. And where we're really highlighting this is in the cost of living. People think that when they move out to Arizona that they're gonna get this steal on property. So they start planning and they don't think about the prices that have gone up almost double in the last five to 10 years. So cost of living is going up. They want you to be aware of this. Obviously it's happening all across the country, not just in Arizona, but the main thing, the grass isn't always greener on the other side. So uh, be aware of that. I know we're kind of taking a little bit of a negative context here, but what we're really trying to drill home is reality. All right, this one's coming from me. This is knowing what to wear when you come out here, uh, whether it be these UV protection shirts that slide up and down like I'm wearing here. I'm also uh, launching an Arizona brand called Cobra Clothing that you guys can check out if you guys want. We have some logos that we've put up, but we're also working on some actual product that we're looking to put together, which is also UV protectant for hiking and outdoors activity in Arizona. It's called Cobra Clothing. You can follow us on Instagram over there. But besides that, you need some glasses, you know, UV protecting glasses, hats, whether it's a full brim cap or something to protect you from the sun other than sunscreen. Uh, I'm not saying you don't need sunscreen, but also some of these shirts come with little hoods that you wear over or some face protection, like you were wearing uh, like a gator. Uh, so all these things that you need to be aware of as well as your shorts, uh, the hybrids, getting a good pair of cowboy boots might not be a bad idea or at least hiking boots to say the very least. So things like that for clothing, you're gonna wanna change the game when you come out here. All right, so here's something to know about Arizona. We have a diverse culture out here. As you can see right behind me, we've got Oktoberfest. Obviously, that's a German thing. We've also got the Renaissance Festival. We've got plenty of Native American culture for you to indulge in with the Navajo Nation, the Hopis, the Anasazi, the Ho'okam people, uh, you know, Tohono O'odham people, many different Apaches, and also Mexico right across the way. We love our Mexican food out here in Arizona. So. Embrace the diversity. It might be different than where you're coming from, say New York or Chicago. But when you come here, that's gonna be a little bit different, but embrace it. All right, so last thing I will say, do watch out for wrong way drivers. These are drivers who get on the freeway going uh, north in a southbound lane or vice versa. This is a thing, look it up on Google. So at night, be extra careful of this. I'm not saying it's gonna happen and hopefully it never happens at all to any of you. But I'm just saying you do want to be aware of that because sometimes your eyes are not playing tricks on you. Someone could be on the freeway in a northbound lane going south, okay? Now, with that being said, that's going to conclude this episode of Living in Arizona Now. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to follow us over on Instagram, and we'll see you on the next one.